Welcome, Welcome back, back to Two Rail, Rail Fans. Fans. Got an exciting video for you guys today. David's really excited because I finally was able to complete his Bachman Thomas DCC uh, upgrade with the lighting. As you guys recall, we did a, a video a while back where I added a DCC decoder to this with a speaker. And we've been watching the YouTube channel DCC Sodor. And they had some custom LED lighting and they were very generous to sell me a pair of the LED custom printed LED lights to put in here, which we're going to show you guys today in a little bit. But we just wanted to talk about the, the project a little bit. I know this isn't going to appeal to, to everyone. However, a lot of people out there have a little kid or a Thomas fan in their family. And this might be fun to do these upgrades to make this a little more entertaining when they're driving. The main issue with the Bachman uh, Thomas series engines, uh, I, although they're coming out with some of them for DCC, they're all DC engines. And there's not a lot of room. No, there's not a ton of room in here, but also there's no lighting. So in addition to having no sounds, there's absolutely zero lighting on it, which was kind of frustrating. So what they give you out of the box, I'm going to hold this up. I don't know if you guys can even see it. There's like a little metal pin in the middle of that headlamp. And then David, you want to hold up the, the backup light? So there's zero light coming out of this. And one of the things we're planning on doing, which you guys will see pretty soon, we're, we're doing a lot of lighting on the layout. And we enjoy driving trains with layout lighting. So we want some lighting on the locomotives as well. Anyway, DCC Sodor was, was gracious enough to sell us a set of the, the lights that, like he did on his for, uh, for Thomas. And we just were able to get those installed uh, this past week. So basically, we'll just talk about how, how this went because <clears throat> everything is inside of, of here, right here. There is almost zero space. So when we did the initial DCC conversion, there is a very small uh, board up here that was removed. And we just soldered the uh, decoder directly to the wires that were already there. Fortunately, the color codes were correct. Uh, and the speaker sits at the very bottom of the back here. I was pretty nervous having to take this apart uh, this week to do this because like I said, it's, there's not a lot of room in here. This whole space is occupied with the motor. So what it, we pulled these other uh, lamps off that didn't have a light in them. For the rear, it was easy because that was going directly into this hollow space at the back. However, at the front, the question is, how do we get wires to the back? There was not really a simple solution, so there was a hole there. So I basically ran the wires along the bottom here and drilled a tiny hole, taking it up through the back. And you can't really see those wires at all uh, unless you actually get underneath it. I guess if we really wanted to, we could take a, a marker or some paint that color and blend them in a little more but I think we're probably just gonna leave it as is. Uh, so we were also able to add some sounds. So one, one of the issues when you go to add some sounds to one of these engines, there, there aren't any sounds out there. So we're, we're gonna demo some of the sounds in a minute here. Uh, but basically what we did for the time being is, David just turned on, don't turn on anything else yet. Uh, what we did for the time being, I just went to the ESU website and downloaded a small steam locomotive. And those are kind of the sounds we're using for the time being. I've heard that some people have been concerned about copyright issues with loading some of the sounds on there. So we may load some, of the, some more original Thomas sounds on here in the future. Mm -hmm. But for this video, we're just going to stick with those ESU sounds. It Plus plus the Thomas whistle, which is public domain, which we will link that that is public domain in the, or free use. Uh, we'll link that in the description uh, to show why we're using that. So for the time being, we just added small steam locomotive sounds. So what I'd like to do first, David, before we even go either direction, 
uh, can you go ahead and hit the light button and forward? Mm -hmm. So some of this white paint did come off here during installation. So I'm going to go back and touch it up. So there's the forward lamp. Mm -hmm. And go ahead and reverse direction. So there's the red lamp at the rear. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and reverse direction again. Reverse direction. Okay. So you can go ahead and leave that on, but let's go ahead Go ahead and hit F1. F1. Okay, give it some throttle there. So you can hear it start up a little bit. I'm going to hold this. Don't go too fast because I don't want to... A little more. You can hear the chuffing. And it gets faster the uh, more you speed it up. All right, go ahead and turn the throttle down. Okay. So you can hear the braking there. Uh, go ahead and hit the whistle. This is the regular Thomas whistle. Okay, keep going through the sounds. Okay, keep going. Turn that, turn F3 off. Shoveling coal. Keep going. Keep going, keep going through the rest of your sounds there. Oh, there's nothing, nothing. Oh, wait. There's the water. This is something. That's the refilling the water. Keep going. We got a couple, there's a couple more sounds on there, I think. Cinder blowout. Guards whistle. And I think that's the end of it, right? Nope, we got something else on there. Is there something? Okay, I think, I think that's all we have in there for now. So we're going to continue to play around with some of these sounds. Uh, why don't you switch direction? Let's uh, let's bring it bring it up here. Switch direction. Go slow. Well, that's probably a little fast. Stop. Stop. Switch direction. Switch direction. So you'll see the light kind of dims on and off. Let me go forward a little bit. Okay, go ahead and stop. All right. Just hit stop there. There we go. So there, we still have some adjusting to do with this, but I'm also very happy that this project is done uh, because, again, like I said, they're in very tight space in here. But I know David's been looking forward to this. <laughs> so again, thank you, DCC Sodor, for the lights. This came out awesome. We'll update some sounds in here for us personally off of this YouTube video. And I think that's it. So until next time. Signing off.